Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with a with a basic tutorial. Now I'm just gonna do a quick overview and a, just a basic setup on the another Nike bot, all in one bot. And I decided to do this because I get a million questions from you guys asking if I could show you how to set it up. A lot of you guys are buying these bots and don't know, don't have a clue what you're doing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once you open it up, this is what you'll see right here. This is pretty much the, the user interface. All right, over here in configure, you got settings, deactivate, which will deactivate your bot, and proxies. So we'll start with proxies. Over here, you just want to copy and then paste all your proxies in here. Hit enable. You can test them if you want. Uh, and then hit save. I'm not putting loading any proxies for this tutorial, so you get the gist of that. Settings. This right here is the Twitter settings. Oh, you don't need this. This is kind of like an old feature they used to use when Nike used to restock, and they'll tweet like a restock or whatever. And uh, you just put the, the the Twitter accounts you want to follow, and then uh, in the bot right here where it says positive keywords, you could put like Jordan Retro 11. So every time Nike tweets something of Jordan Retro 11 with the link. It'll open up that link and, and search for that those specific keywords to see if they can card it. But that's an old feature. We don't really use that anymore, so just ignore it. Email notifications. You know, pretty much you can put your email stuff and have it notify you whenever it cards something. Uh, same with this. Uh, I, I, honestly, I ignore all of this stuff. Only thing you really need to know is delay settings. You don't really want to mess with it too much, but you can if you want. All right, monitors. When you the early link monitor, you can switch the delays so you can check every 15 seconds or whatever. New page monitor, you can have it check every so often or whatever. And uh, then you have your proxies for your for monitors. This right here is something new. I just noticed this a couple minutes ago. I'm, uh, I think this is for uh, auto solving, auto capture. Well, I'll figure that out later now that you guys know. But anyway, it's pretty much the settings. It pretty much comes self built. If you leave it all on the default settings, you should be all right. Hit save settings. Oh, what was that? And let's go. So for this tutorial, oh, before I get into the adding task, let's keep going. I right, check for updates. You want to make sure you have the latest update, which I do. All right, get keywords. Sometimes they'll post keywords and stuff. Early links, you can get them from right here. Oh shit, uh, that's the uh, success monitor. Show added shoes. Uh, help desk, ask a question. This is to contact them. Tools, you got account creator, which we don't use. Remote import accounts, so you can set up your accounts already and with the format that they have um, in, a, in like an Excel file and, and import it quicker. These are the captures for all these sites. If you don't know what a capture is, it's pretty much this right here. Hit it, solve it, it'll refresh and just keep solving them. Alright, uh, what else we got here? Uh, you can try without capture. Proxy tester. Honestly, this proxy tester, uh, another Nike bot, if you're watching this, this just sucks, man. It's not accurate. It gets false readings. So, a lot of times, I'll paste my proxies, I'll choose a site I want to test them on, and I'll test them, and it'll say they're not working. But when I use them, they work, you know. Or I'll manually input it into the browser and they work. So I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, I need to fix that shit, man. But anyway, oh, uh, well, let's keep going. Manuals, got the manuals. Release setup, every time there's a release, they'll put something like this and just pretty much tell you exactly what you have to do for this release. 
All right. And then right here too, is the cool thing about it. They have every site they have. Oh shit. They have like a tutorial for all of them, like how to set it up. Every site, finish line, no more guest account, and all that stuff. So for the tutorial, we'll do a foot site. Let's do a like foot locker and champs or something. We'll start with champs. So you want to choose your site for foot lock for my bad for foot sites. I suggest always going with guest account, but you could go with a regular account, but guest is better. Uh, positive keyword. This is the Twitter keyword monitor. Just put XXX because we don't use this at all, but it has to have this field in there. You have to put XXX in order for you to be able to to create this task. Negative keyword, it's nothing. Style, don't worry about it. Size, 11. Early link, you know, usually they'll give you the early link there, but we're gonna do, test it with this shoe right here. Notification text and email, that's if you wanna receive a notification for uh, every time it cards something like get a text or an email you could just put your info in there page monitor we're gonna leave it blank because as you can see we have an early link so once all that's done we're gonna add add a task see this is the good thing you create many tasks really fast so just hit at um, guest again add another one guest again add another one all right we'll go for a size 10 and a half as well Guess again, add, guess again, add. All right, so I created five tasks right here. All right, we'll go ahead and create five full locker tasks as well. So guess again. Oh, you know what? I created these champ tasks, but it's foot locker. But anyway, for the sake of tutorial, just make believe this is a, a champs link. Alright. Add. 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 Alright. So we got our task set up right here. I got three full locker tasks, five champs tasks. Early links are set up. Now we're going to assign it a checkout profile, which is your billing information. So for this one, I'm just going to put all of them the same one. I already had created a dummy one before I started this, so all right, you just let's edit. Just fill this all out. Friendly name is the name you want to call your your profile. Check out profile. Put it out. You want to shipping same as, same as billing. Now this is the most important things here that you need to know is state state. You want to have it. Like I'm in Kansas, so capital letters and two digits. All right, uh, and this right here, check out once per website. So when this is enabled, when this is enabled, it will only check out no matter how many tasks I create using this checkout profile. It will only check out once per website. So I created three Foot Locker tasks and five Champ tasks. It's only gonna check out once on each of those sites. Uh, check out the lay settings. Leave that blank unless they they instruct you otherwise. And we're gonna save, select, and add them. See, they were all added. They were all added to the task. All right. So now we're ready to go. Let's create task. And you see we have we have all our tasks here. Now from here you could start all tasks. If it's a countdown, it'll it'll detect the countdown and just wait for the countdown to be over before it adds the cart. Um, you can you can start set, um individual tasks at a time. You can manage billing, like give it another checkout profile. Uh, you can check the cart of this item, I mean of this task, or you could change early links, size, and page bond keywords.
from here. So that's pretty much how foot sites work. Pretty easy, right? Now let's go into some of the other sites. As you can see, they have plenty of sites, man. This is the good thing about this bot, that they have all the sites. You know, Slayer is the best for foot sites, but all they have is foot sites, you know? So once the foot site release is done, you, you're pretty much done. With this, you have everything. Any store drops something, and you you pretty much have a chance to cop. But for this, we're gonna go with Yeezy Supply. All right, Yeezy Supply. When you check the tutorial that they give you here, let's see. All right, let's look for Yeezy Supply. Where is it at? Give me a second, guys. You know, I swear you're somewhere. They don't have this stuff in like a alphabetical order. That sucks. There we go. E supply. So it tells you it supports guest uh, guest account. Uh, does it ban IPs? They don't know. Supports page monitor. Yes size us size or as shown on the website supports paypal checkout no where should the address be saved make sure you input all address in the bot start five to ten minutes before release and shipping international that's good to know so when you're setting up your task you know how you got to go about it so we're gonna go guest checkout like they told us no early link because most of the time it won't be loaded to on the site until it's live and available so i'm gonna go guest checkout and then we're gonna hit pay um page monitor we're gonna enter our keywords so every time there's a release they'll give you the keywords you need to put in there but since there's no really release for easy supply so they don't have keywords we're gonna act like it's the it was the last easy drop so the last easy drop was 350 boost uh, v2 core whatever so we're gonna put in our keywords so it'll be something like easy so look like if i put just easy and that's it then it'll, it'll try to buy every anything that has just easy on it so that's bad because it might end up buying a whole bunch of fucking you might end up getting a whole bunch of uh, Yeezy 950s or whatever. So you want to make sure you, you put the right keywords. So Yeezy, and this is how you combine keywords. Make sure you have an and in, in between it. Yeezy and boost. And 350. And I'll put like the color uh, red, you know? And then comma. Comma just separates the the combination of keywords. So from here I could just put easy and 350 and boost. They don't have to be in any particular order either. And uh, green. No, what's the other? copper? All right. And those are my keywords so once you get all that done you can enter your email here if you want i'm gonna leave that turn it at add add so easy to create tasks man all right so i created five tasks for yeast supply i'm gonna assign it a a checkout profile so I already have it on smart checkout where it's only gonna check out once for once per site with that card. So if you put 10 cards, then all those 10 cards will check out once only on um, per site. So let's say I start create task. Let's say I started it, right? I started all these tasks right here. Uh, start selected task. You'll see, start right here, successful login. And then you can see the logs for each one, right? Obviously there's no shoe, no 350s there, so 
it's not going to cop anything it's trying to find the keywords trying to find the keywords so as soon as the item is live it'll pick it up add it to cart and try to check out all right let me stop uh, stop all tasks so that's that now for sites with captures like adidas adidas supports guest checkout i know that for a fact we don't need paid page monitor keywords uh, usually they'll tell you like the early link like right here release it up you know i don't even need that either uh shit what am i doing okay early link this is the early link they had for it So all you gotta do is add to input. So that I'm gonna show you guys again. So I got everything set up. I want a size 12. Go to keywords and early links. Find US, which is right here. Add to input, and they already loaded it for me. See that? And I just add. And I keep doing this. Keep creating my task. So I created four, assign your billing. All right, so it's all assigned. Where's it? Oh, I gotta create the task. Boom, out of here. Now, I could start, I could just start Adidas right now. You can start each one individually if you want, but as soon as you start it, Usually they'll tell you, they'll be like, you can now start your Adidas task. Please have patience to keep them running. But as soon as you start it, or even before you start it, you want to have your capture page open, which is right here. These are the sites that require the capture. And you just want to start solving away, man. Just keep solving. Keep solving captures. Right now, I don't know why, but I think because my internet, the capture thing is not working. You see it, it won't open up. But usually, if when it's working, you see a, a whole bunch of pictures, you got to solve it, and then it'll refresh. And it just starts sending capture tokens to the bot. And hopefully you add to card and check out. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's a lot more, but you can read the tutorials. You see all the sites right here, man. I'm telling you, this for, for, to me, this is the best bot to start off with. Because it has everything. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, well, actually, I'll show you. I'll leave the link in the description and everything. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, the likes and the comments, they go a long way. As you can see, man, it is probably the most successful bot, in my opinion. This one is Slayer. But, uh, yeah, this is the another Nike bot, all-in-one. They actually have 10% off right now, if you think about copying it. I'll jump on that. Uh, it's 325. It's pricey, but it's worth the money. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Man, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Check it out. I'll also leave a link for for proxies. If you wanna, you're gonna need proxies to do all this stuff. So uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.